Namo Namaha. Welcome back. Now, in this segment, let's turn to the third of our four uh, ganas. Uh, these are these verb classes that are going to involve class markers that contain the letter a, uh, the a uh kara. Right. This class uh, is class six. Uh, and it's labeled by the traditional grammarians as the tud gana. Uh, it's based, named after the root tud, uh, which is part of this class. And tud means to poke or prod or sting, strike out at. Uh, this is uh, this is the characteristic member of this class. The the root tud uh, is going to first turn into the stem tuda, uh, and then to that stem tuda, you add your parasmaipada endings, and you get, for example. Devaha tudati, the god pokes or prods. Vanaraha uh, tudanti, the monkeys strike. Aham uh, tudami, I push, I poke. Uh, with the characteristic lengthening again of the a uh into a ah in the Uttama Purusha. Uh, again, like in the other Aganas, uh, 1, 4, 6, and 10, we're all going to see this is going to be ami, awaha, amaha. Uh, you can see the formation of the stem is super easy, just like like class four, class six is straightforward. You take the root, you don't do any strengthening to it or anything else, any processing of the root, and then you add your gana marker, uh, and that's it. Super straightforward. Wish we could all be sixth class verbs, but I'm afraid not. Sad to say it gets complicated from here. Uh, aside from the th aside from tud to poke or sting or strike, we also have nud, which a, a root me which means to push or nudge. Uh, this turns into the stem nuda, and we get saha nudati, he pushes. Sa nudati, she nudges, she pushes. Te nudanti, they push or nudge. Aham nudami, I nudge you. Right? Well, uh, nudam, we nudge. Uh, there are a couple of irregular sixth class roots we can take a look at. Uh, one is a set of verbs where a nasal N gets inserted or infixed into the root in the formation of the stem. One such root is the root much, a very important one, which means to release or let go of something. Much first turns into munch, uh, which with the insertion of the palatal nasal nya, and then the gana marker a uh, gets added, turning the stem for, of much is muncha. Uh, much is the root, muncha is the stem. So from that stem, then we get munchati. She releases, he, he lets go. Te munchanti, they let go, they release. Aham munchami, I release, I let go. A couple of other roots uh, also have that, this infix nasal we can pay attention to. One is the root sitch, which means to sprinkle or to pour water, uh, to, like uh, water on the earth would be to sitch. And it's actually cognate with the English word soak. Uh, believe it or not. And now sitch uh, acts as a sixth class root, uh, uh, when it, and when it turns into a, a, a stem, we're going to infix the nasal nya again into it, and the gana marker a uh, to create sincha. So saha sinchati, he sprinkles, waters the plants. Te sinchanti, they pour out. Uh, Aham sinchami, I sprinkle the ground. Something like that. Similarly, there's the root vid. Vid is actually, there are two different roots of vid. One is to know something. Another is to find something out, to discover something, to acquire something. Uh, if the meaning is the former, it's a class two root, actually. We're going to learn that vid becomes veti. Uh, she knows or he knows. It knows. Uh, but if the root, uh, the meaning of the root is to find something or to discover or acquire something, then it's a sixth class verb, uh, and it's it's going to feature again that infixed nasal we've been talking about. So the stem first becomes vind, and then you add your a uh, marker vinda. Sa vindati, she discovers. De vindanti, they discover. Aham vindami, I acquire something. Finally, we have a super important sixth class root that you should 100% commit to memory right now. It's a very good one. It's very common. It's very irregular. Uh, this root is ish, uh, which means to wish or to want with a retroflex s. Uh, and it's sixth class, but it has an irregular stem, icha. And so it becomes saha ichati, he wants. Sa ichati, she wants. Te ichanti, they want something. Aham ichami, I want. Tom kim ichasi, what do you want? Yuyam kim ichanta, ichata, what do you three or more want? 
right? So with that, let's pause here. We'll take a break, review all of our examples that we've, we've put on uh, the ubcsanskrit.ca website. When you start feeling comfortable with all of the three classes we've learned so far, right, one, four, and six, then it'll be time to turn to the last of our uh garnas, the 10th class known as the chur garna. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Punar Milamaha Nanyamada.